here I'm going to install Reactor Ask David Gold, uh, 16 February 2016, uh, or if you want to call it boot CD 70756-RAM. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to use an external CD drive. I'm going to hopefully install it. Like so. And I'll just power up the machine. See what happens. F12 boot menu. Hopefully this USB port is working. I've had problems with it in the past. Now we're going to be installing onto a 160 gigabyte RDE hard disk. Um, so yeah, this will be sort of interesting, I suppose. As you can see, it's failed to find the disk drive. So power it off. Change the port. Again. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, no, there is temperaments. I'm sure I've had this booted off a CD drive before. Um, a USB one, that is. Seems as that's really the only option with this machine, either that or a memory stick. As you can see, it's appeared in the boot menu now, or last. That's any key. Let's try it. Let's see if we have an outright failure and it gets past the bootloader, or if it works and goes into setup. It would be interesting because it does look as though other people have managed to get down latitudes and the likes to run reactor ice. But whether this will be one of the ones that runs it okay or not, well, let's just see. If anything, I'd say it's old enough to try to run it. Mm. Yeah, and we're stuck. Uh, yes, I think this is. I don't think this has been successful, has it? This is just one of the many reasons why Reactor S is so bad. You know, I don't know what I could change in it to make it work otherwise. And I could just have a look at the setup, but I don't think you know much of that's going to affect it. Problem is, you see, when the computer hangs on the bootloader, like that, it doesn't know that you've got problems on your hands. I mean, maybe it's the fact that it's a USB CD drive, but you know, it is ridiculous. <sighs> you know, I'm just not having it. If, if that is the case, then well, it's just going to be a very, very, very short video, I'm afraid. Not half as long as what I would have hoped it to have been, but anyway, there you go. Hmm. Doesn't seem to allow me to. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I've already got Linux installed on here. Would you believe it? But yeah, Linux is very underused in this day and age. I mean, although it is what powers a lot of Android smartphones, for example. 
and even wireless routers to some degree. Oh yes, it, it doesn't look good. I mean, you know when it does that, it's probably going to fail. It seems that a number of machines will just get stuck on this point now as well. Let's try again. I think there's, there is a must be a massive flaw with the bootloader which is causing this to happen. You know, it, it, as you can imagine, Windows XP set up sort of just flies past and usually goes bang, 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 loads all the drivers up for every single device that would ever have worked with Windows XP at the time and then it goes straight into the setup program you know, and then it allows you to install it, but this, no but it is in alpha stage nevertheless, but yeah it's still not having it so, yeah even now I can't run it on this Dell Latitude D410 so yeah, that's a bit bad, but there you go I think I'll be leaving that for today then. Thanks for watching.